So I got this 2023 Lexus GX460 last week. Thought it might make for a great family SUV. 60 grand, boom, give me the four wheels. I'm driving out of here, this is gonna be awesome. It's got three rows, full time, four wheel drive. And then after driving it for a week, after playing around with the insides, recognizing some of the smaller details that I should have paid attention to, 16 miles per gallon mixed driving sucks. 301 horsepower sucks. A really funky third row, which I'll have to show you because it's really odd. It really doesn't uh, make sense for my family, so it's got to go back. So here's a combination of numbers you don't hear very often, especially with a luxury SUV. 4.6 liter V8, six speed automatic transmission, 301 horsepower. It does have the full time four wheel drive, which is helpful, different drive modes to do your driving. But again, 15 miles per gallon city, 19 on the highway. I have an average sheen just under 16, which is what they project for EPA fuel economy. Yeah, that's not gonna work. 16 miles per gallon, sure, it's got three rows. It can go off road, it can do your weekend warrior stuff, but that's not gonna work in today's economy. Not with uh, fuel prices well above $4, $4.50, sometimes five bucks. This is not gonna last, and it's not gonna stay in my driveway. So I decided to opt for the Black Line Special Edition for an extra 4,700 bucks. I like it. It's got these uh, 18 inch split six spoke alloy wheels with black gloss finish, black accents, black window trim, the black roof rail. It's got a panoramic view camera as well. I think it looks sharp and so does this uh, green, dark green color on the outside. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not too bad about that extra cost, even though I'm not gonna keep it. Now I'm going to turn it on because when I do, the front seat comes forward. It gives me a little more room in the back seat. Can I close that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here is the back seat. Now I had the car seats in here for the kids. Uh, that was pretty easy to work with um, for the middle row. Here's what it looks like for a, a man of my size. I'm 5'11", 192, 15% body fat. Here's my knees behind the back seat or the uh, back of the driver's seat. This is my position as a driver. So it's okay, a little right, raised up here too. So I'm sitting higher than the front passenger and the driver. Headroom's okay too, there's an uh, indent in the roof line. Got your old blank handle here, a little compartment behind the door, climate controls as well on the center for the back seat. So I got the heated seats for the back seats. Now uh, this is a 40-20-40 fold down back seat. Here's what happens when you lift up this handle on the side. It slides forward and that's the easiest way that you can get to the third row. Otherwise, if you just wanna use the handle on top, it'll go flat. So there's two ways that you can play with the middle row. You can slide it forward to get in the back or you can lay it flat for cargo in the back. Now let's go to the, the third row. And this is where it gets kind of funky and a bit challenging to make it work. Now this is not your traditional lift gate because you have two options to open it. It depends on how you park. Uh, you'll have to think about that when you go to a parking spot on how you want access to it. Because if you back up against somebody, the only way really to access it is to go this route, reach in, because if you are butt to butt with somebody, this is how it opens. And clearly, if you're too close, you won't be able to open that up. All right, now we're gonna explore and show you the challenges and the interesting engineering they did to make this a three row luxury SUV. This cargo area is pretty impressive if you have the third row folded down. So behind the back seat, plenty of cargo, but when that gets raised, then you have very little cargo room behind the third row. But here's where it gets interesting. This is, works on both sides. So I lift this up. This is the third row. Now look, where is the seat? You've got to pull it out and it's not super easy to pull out. There's a little bit, of, that's how you get the seat. And then, let's see, how did I do that last time? This is where it's, okay, I lift the handle back up, this handle here, and the seat retracts. So lift it here, and then you, gotta, you have to pull this up. So it's a two-step process just to have, well, three if you bring this up here, uh, a two-step process to have access to this third row. Now, again, fold it down, it, it goes back. Same thing on this side. Here, the seat is hidden inside, so you gotta lift it up. It's not that easy. And there you go. Hope you can see that. Now lift the handle back up. It slides back. 
and then you can fold it down. So it takes a little bit of maneuvering and uh, dexterity in your hands and arms and to make this happen. So that's one area that not gonna work, not for us. Last but not least on why this is not gonna be our family vehicle, but it can be a family vehicle for others, just it's not for us. So nothing has changed from 2022 to 2023. This is the same vehicle, just a little more expensive because that's how it works. Although you do have the black line edition, which is kind of cool. I like the black accents. Uh, touchpad down below. They are sticking with the touchpad. This, uh, this screen here, somewhat outdated when it comes to the graphics from, you know, they, they just, they're just not changing anything yet. I guess to them, it's not broken. To me, I want something a little more updated. There's no wireless charging pad. 2023 model, no wireless charging pad. They do have USB ports. These uh, sliders for the heated and ventilated seats, uh, you turn them on, but there's one color light when it's on. In other vehicles, it's blue when it's cold, it's red when it's hot. So you just roll it up, roll it down, but the color of the light that indicates that it's on is just one little orange color. Wow. These are those little details that you think about or you see throughout the week going, oh, well, I guess I don't know if it's cold or hot. Let me look at the color on the, the roller. Okay, that's red, that's blue. Okay, is it on? It's on. All right, anyways. So this right here, not a big fan of. I don't think I ever will be. It's just kind of tedious to go through it. And dial, 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 dial. This is for uh, high four, low four. This is for tuning. This is for volume. I don't know. I don't know. So for a five door, three row luxury SUV, the 2023 Lexus uh, GX460 does have some things that are positive for people, whether that's that full-time all-wheel drive, its durability, its ability to go anywhere and do just about anything. That third row just doesn't work for my family. I don't like the fuel economy at all. I know what you're saying. You had all the information at your fingertips before you took this vehicle. Plop down 60 grand for it and you still took it. You knew the horsepower is 301. You knew the fuel economy was 16 miles per gallon in mixed driving. You probably went in the back and checked out the third row and then you knew how finicky it was. These are all true things. The cool thing is, I'm gonna get a new vehicle next week. This is a press loan. I'm not gonna keep this, but it is a good opportunity to, for me to learn about what's available and to share it with you on my pros and cons. Nope. Not going to be my type of family vehicle. I would go for something a little bit larger. Uh, 60 grand for this. I'll go for a non luxury brand and get more bells and whistles and more comfortable uh, driving and fuel economy. Not this one, but doesn't mean it has, doesn't have a place. Just not for me. Could be for you. So test drive it and find out for yourself. Until next time, I'm Dave. Thanks for watching. Adios.
One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.